Hello, and thank you for stopping by to view Put It Forward's Marketo to Adobe Analytics Connector. Put It Forward deals with data integration, and we love to make it easy for business users to be able to access data, connect systems without any expensive or potentially slow developer resources. We securely connect cloud-to-cloud -cloud applications as well as cloud-to-on-premise applications, thus allowing us to reduce the time to extend and offer you any new connectivity options. As we can see here from the slide, anyone with you in your organization has the ability to integrate data involving the most common as well as most complex business scenarios. As we take a dive into the application itself, we can view here and begin to understanding or create a fundamental understanding of the data objects and data list types that are allowed for us to use within our connector. Whether it's all leads, unsubscribe leads, specific lead IDs, or even triggering events from Marketo to Adobe Analytics, nothing is untouchable with the Put It Forward application. As we can see here, we begin to dive into lead information or lead generation information, and we can see that information related to that allows us to integrate. From within here, we take a look as well and gain a fundamental understanding within Adobe Analytics, whether it's visitors, unique monthly visitors, or anything related to the Adobe Analytics tool, it does give you the ability to integrate the information back and forth between Marketo. Whether it's any data object or any data type as well as metadata, Put It Forward certainly has the ability to connect the two. As we take a step into the Put It Forward application, we log into the web user interface. When within the UI, we can take a look and create a connector from here. When we create the connector, we typically involve it by creating a name for it, whether it's related to a specific project type, specific lead type, or specific campaign type. Vice versa, if it's related to anything to profile visits or profile views within Adobe, you can name it as such. Once we have named it, we can decide whether the connector is active upon creation, notification of changes made to the connector, or persisting the logs. We can also edit the amount of max rows allowed for data integration. Once we've selected the max rows, we can begin to select scheduling. We can do every hour, every day, every month, or even on a custom schedule. Perhaps you're looking for something in real time. If that's the case, Put It Forward certainly has the ability to cover you. Once we've selected our date, we're going to go ahead and click Save, and we're going to move on to the designer. As we move on to the designer page, we can begin to connect information. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and set the properties related to the applications at use today. We take the information based on the API level. If it's not in regards to the API, it is regarding that open authorization or HTTPS access. Once we have entered in the necessary information, we also use user credentials to be able to read and write access related to that. Once we've entered in our credentials, we begin to select the properties available to us. As you can see here, we've selected our report suite within Adobe Analytics. From within here, we select the metrics side. This could be page views, page visits, all visitors, or things related to parent objects within Adobe Analytics. As you can see here, the data objects are searchable. As we select and save the information, we can move on to these child subcategories or the elements related to these page views. As you can see here, the list is quite complex and does allow for selection of each. These necessary items are also functional as well whether it's IP address or any information related to these child subcategories within Adobe Analytics, we can set those. We can then set, select the date granularity type as well. As you can see here, one minute to an entire year is selectable for you. Put It Forward also has the ability to look up information based on specific criteria, whether it's using our integration of the Spring Expression Language or something specific just as perhaps a name or title. It does allow you to select information based on something specific or entire groups of information as a whole. When we go into Marketo, we're going to enter in information specific to our instance of Marketo. This is going to be our domain code, client ID, client secret, and then we're going to select our classes and properties. As you can see here, since we are integrating lead information, we're going to select that and then we're going to select properties based on that. Once we have selected this necessary information, we can begin integrating or creating the visual designer aspect of the mappings. As you can see here, it's a simple click and drag effort. And once these are connected, you can of course click them and it allows you to show exactly what's mapped to what and where. From within here, you also have the ability to create transformations. 
In the instance that should you not have any data that may not fit appropriately, Put It Forward has a data services layer that allows you to manipulate information to fit as necessary. Alongside the data services layer, you also have an integration of data governance within Put It Forward. From within here, we can view things based on the calendar level, as well as reporting for any high-level executives that should need to view it if necessary. From within here, you also have applications or data integration logs related to the information that has been passed along. This allows for an in-flight view, as well as in-flight editing of this information as is necessary.